I'm gonna give you three reasons that are gonna improve your contact immediately, and they're three things I guarantee you've never heard before. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and believe it or not, if you're struggling with your contact, we're gonna talk about the butt end of the club, we're gonna talk about your trail eye, and we're gonna talk about your trail knee, all right? And those three things are going to actually improve your contact. So let's get started, here we go, right away. Now, the first thing you'll notice is I've got the vertical line board down. And the team here, we developed this board for a lot of reasons, to help you with slice, uh, help you with hook, hit the ball high, launch it, you name it. But today we're talking about contact. So I've got this set up, and I've got it set up in a neutral position. So the gray line right here is pointed at my target line, and I've got the alignment bar just set up in its neutral position. Okay, now, you're gonna notice a little hole right here in the center of the board. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. So the first thing we gotta understand is that when we're struggling with contact, all right, it's because we're not catching the ball first, all right? And that typically has to do with too much movement side to side. So the first thing that we're gonna focus on is the eyes. So here's what we're gonna do. When we set up here, I've got the hole right here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some practice swings and I'm gonna swing it up to the top and I'm gonna feel and focus that my trail eye, which for me is my right eye, stays looking at that dot, looking at that hole in the ground. Here we go. Okay, just watch, watch the movement here. Okay, see that? I'm taking it all the way to the top. My trail eye is staying focused on that, right? Now, the opposite of that would be this. It would be my trail eye moving to the back dot. It would look like this. Okay, see that? That is completely different than my eye staying focused right there. Okay, so let me go ahead and just hit a shot. And what is that doing? Okay, what is that doing? Well, it's centering my turn, which is an important part. You know if you've watched any of our stuff here, that in the whole vertical line swing system, we love a big hip turn, we love a high lead arm, okay? But relatively, that pivot has gotta move, but it's gotta be pretty centered. So here we go. I'm gonna swing it, I'm gonna do a little three setter. You know we love our three setters. I'm gonna keep my right eye focused on the ball now, because the ball's right there, there's one, there's two, see my pivot, I'm turning the hips, but I'm staying centered, here we go, let's hit a shot. All right, that was solid. All right, now one of the things I love about the board, is I don't have to worry about replacing the turf and all that stuff, I can just take a ball, boom, I'm ready to go. Okay, that's one of the things I love about the board. So that's tip number one, is when you turn, Keep your trail eye focused on the ball. Now, the next tip has to do with the butt end of the club. All right, so believe it or not, when the butt end of the club works backwards this way, okay, I'll do it up here so you can kind of see it. When it works back this way, it adds loft. Again, it makes contact very different. That's the opposite of this. Everybody see the difference? Bad, good, see that? So when we come in good contact, we make impact with the golf ball, we want the handle, the butt end of the club, to be slightly in front of the golf ball. So what we can do with the vertical line board is we've got some numbers right here, okay? When you set up, all right, I want you to feel like the butt end of the club right here, the handle is more up towards the two, okay? If you're struggling with contact, it might be more back here. So let me go ahead and do it face on. So when you're set in there, instead of the handle being back here, you want it to be slightly forward. And that's gonna promote more of a downward angle of attack. So let's go ahead and get set up here. All right. I got my club face square to my gray line. I got my neutral setup position. And I'm just going to have the butt end of the club move forward. So as I look down, it's more over the one or the two. Let's go ahead and hit a shot. All right, that was solid. Now, tip number three, the knee, the trail knee. All right, let's talk about that. Let's put another ball in here. Boom, easy, and I'm ready to roll. Now, believe it or not, the other thing that can have a big impact on contact, we've talked about head or pivot, we've talked about shaft, let's talk about the finished position. When we finish the golf swing, we want to make sure that our weight is nicely, nice and forward, okay? The bottom of the swing will typically follow where your weight's at. If you finish the swing with your weight on your back foot, you're probably going to hit behind the golf ball. If you finish with your weight on the forward foot, you're probably gonna hit more down in the golf ball, which is what we want. So, let's go ahead, I'm gonna move the ball out of there. Let's make a practice swing. And the focus that I want you to have is that when you finish the swing, okay, your knee gets all the way in front 
towards the lead part of the alignment bar. See that? Boom, let me go ahead and do it. I'll do it, even do it from face on here so you can see it. See how my knees are touching, all right? When I use a vertical line board, I've got the reference point right here, okay? Boom, right knee all the way forward, up over the bar. Boom, there it is. Let's go ahead and put a ball in the place. Let's tie this together, okay? So here we go, neutral position, club face square to my target line or the gray line. Shaft over two or three, okay? I'm gonna take to the top and right eye stays focused on the ball. Trail knee in front of the alignment bar. Ooh, there it is. There are three reasons we talked about today that can definitely improve your contact. If you do those three things right there, you too are gonna see your contact definitely improve.